Hey John, Morgan with the Pennsylvania Progressive. I'm here with uh, Bill Brogius from Quaker Town, and he's also on the State Democratic Committee. And uh, what brings you here today, Bill? Well, we heard very late in the week that, that uh, Governor Romney was to be here, and we wanted a presence to counteract his message, which uh, we think isn't a good one for Upper Bucks or for the country, for that matter. There are rumors that he's not going to show up. I heard those same rumors. I haven't heard any confirmation, but I heard it from several sources. So yeah. we'll see. Um, what would you surmise or speculate why he would skip coming here after I announcing it? Well, I know that uh, the Republicans in Bucks County have their big reorganization meeting at Lower Bucks today, and many of them are, I'm sure, are all down there. So maybe the turnout the uh, Republicans up here wasn't as great as they had hoped, or w would not be as great as they had hoped. There seemed to be, at least from a quick perusal, more Democrats here than Republicans so far, but then the Democratic I event is so. earlier. There are people here from OFA, Organizing for America, there are people here from NEA, uh, and, and probably move on and other uh, Democratic associated groups. A lot of, and more, as you can see, more are coming over here as we speak. Okay. Uh, Ed Rendell, former governor, is supposed to be here. I understand here. that. That'd be great. Along with uh, congressional candidate Kathy Bukvar yes. and former Congressman Patrick Murphy. I just heard from Patrick on the cell and he's on his way. All right. It's a kind of a, a little noisy place for an event. This is a noisy place. The turnpike is, is, is right, down, right the street. down there. And this yeah. is a major road connecting Quaker Town to the turnpike, yeah. so it's, it's busy. Yeah, yeah, this is a road I use coming to Quaker Town and Doylestown. Oh yeah, right. Uh, yeah. From Reading, so yeah, I'm familiar with this road. Uh, I know exactly which Wawa it was or where yes, it was. Yes, yeah, well, everybody did. It's, it's a lot of Wawas around, but this is uh, the one by the turnpike. Yes. And everyone knows where that is. Um, what do you think the key issues are for? the election? Well, of course, it's the economy, of course, it's jobs, and, and you know, as far as the Romney plan, it's back to what we did, what we did before in 2001, and if tax cuts for the rich created jobs, we'd have zero unemployment now, you know. So, I, and that message has to be out there, uh, because all they want to do is go back to what they've already done. Well, you know, conservatives have been screaming about the deficit for four years now, but then Romney wants to do additional tax cuts for the rich to further exacerbate. And he wants to increase the budget of, of the Pentagon as well. I, I don't know how that lowers the deficit without cutting major, majorly into social programs, Medicare, Social Security. But they're already doing that. Yes. So, you know, that's yes. the logical, you know, solution for that. Um, how much do you think Pennsylvania would be a battleground state this year? A lot of people are saying, you know, we, we aren't going to see the activity yeah, we saw this, previously. Was, it occurred to me this week that maybe this is a test run through Pennsylvania today for Romney to see what kind of support he has at the grassroots, and maybe, hopefully, they'll decide not to not to battle too hard for Pennsylvania. It is a traditionally blue state in presidential elections. But it's been close, and uh, yes. you know, it's been a battleground state it's, for the last several. It was 10% for Obama, I think, uh, for years ago, it won't be that great now, I'm sure, but uh, I've seen polls ranging from 12% difference to 6% difference, so. Yeah, the last one this week was 6%. Mr. So Morgan, good to see you, sir. Good to see you. Good Bill, see you. Good pleasure. Dad, so, well, welcome, so, since you're here. You have a couple minutes, Dad? Yeah, Dad, why don't you yeah. This is a Doylestown Burr Council Dad member, Det Anson. He also ran for Bucks County Commissioner recently. Uh, good morning, Dad. How are you today? Doing really well. Uh, Fine day to stand outside of Wawa. <laughs> well, we're actually technically we're, we're in, a, stand. Yes. in a produce stand next to Wawa. And uh, the Democrats have moved their event over here to uh, reduce the amount of confusion and chaos at the Wawa. Uh, so, uh, what do you think of th this morning's events? Do you think Romney will show up? I think he will. He's been doing these stops. I mean, these are easy stops from these are low-hanging fruit. They're trying to stop the places where he'll find a friendly crowd. I don't think he really understands what that means here in Bucks County and what it means to the people here. He may presume this is, you know, a friendly and supportive area for the kinds of policies he supports, but Bucks County, like many counties in Pennsylvania, experience what those policies did to us during the Bush administration. We've heard those messages before. We've seen the jobs lost. And when I'd heard earlier news coverage that this he was going for the Rust Belt, these are the very areas that were hurt by the policies he's now supporting. Well, 
basically he's still espousing the policies that George W. Bush used to crash the economy. Uh, how do you think those are going to resonate with the voters? Basically, if you if you liked Bush, you love Romney, kind of a message. Well, I, think the, I think many voters remember what happened during uh, George W. Bush's administration, where we had this opportunity for prosperity and saw it blunted and saw tremendous financial failures, people losing their homes, and that's why you know when you look at those policies, you have to remember. And I hope the voters remember that. And I think obviously the campaigns are the best to remind them what these policies did, but you need to look no further than Romney's own record in Massachusetts, where he bumped Massachusetts down to 47th in job creation. That was at a time when the rest of the country was growing and adding jobs, Massachusetts was creating them at a slower pace than 46 other states. But you're also a small business owner. Yes. Uh, how do you see the economy right now uh, compared hiring, to four years ago? We're hiring people, I'm fortunate, being in technology and high tech. We're hiring people. We're trying to find good people. The difficulty is with the rising costs of college, the things that are happening in Pennsylvania that are driving people out of this commonwealth uh, make it challenging. And that's what I look towards. I look towards how we educate our people, how we support them so that our young people can stay here, because I'm certainly willing to employ them. We hired three people in the past month continuing to grow. I'm concerned what Romney's policies will do to this economic climate and affect our ability to grow. Uh, we've had a couple of years of Tom Corbett now, and of course uh, Ed Randell is going to be here this morning. Um, what's your opinion of Tom Corbett and what he's done? I think Corbett has been incredibly inept at key issues facing a lot of Pennsylvanians. It seems like the gas industry has been served very, very well, uh, but everything else seems to have gone secondary. From our support of higher education, from what's happening in our municipalities, what happened with the support of our, our mental health, mental retardation, welfare programs, the changes that Corbett, the Corbett administration has made there is going to profoundly affect our communities. And basically, under President Romney, we'd see this on a national basis. Is that safe to say? Well, you're going to see that those costs, just as what Corbett's budget does, those costs are pushed on to us locally, where they can wash their hands clean saying they had nothing to do with it, and we have to bear it in higher local taxes, just as we're dealing with this with the drilling. We're dealing with higher local taxes because of this policy. But uh, Governor Corbett recently said that don't blame him for the billions of dollars in cuts to education, blame your local school boards. It's, the court administration is quite ready to go and apply blame elsewhere, but considering that his party controls the state senate, controls the state house, controls the governor's mansion, they have complete control of the government, they own the problems. We're not seeing the actions being taken to remedy these things in Pennsylvanians and secure Pennsylvania for our next generation. All right, well, thank you very much, Dad. Great, excellent, thank you.